experience, you have Hong Kong experience, but you don't have experience of Happy Valley when it is rocking and party night. What was it like out there tonight, sir? Yeah, um, obviously great to be here with uh, different experience and uh, um, an amazing night once again. And um, yeah, to have a Could you feel? Could you feel the passion of the crowd and the and the atmosphere building as the night wore on? Yeah, absolutely. And I think um, more people had different winners uh, uh, through the evening. Uh, you can tell people passion to different people, and um, yeah, look, it's, it's an amazing place. It's Happy Valley. It's, it's, it's world renowned for the atmosphere, and um, I think it's pointed. Let me come to you, Sylvester. I think the phrase is fashionably late. We didn't really see you all night until Adios in the final race. But you never give up, do you? No, I never said that. And uh, no, I was just thrilled. And uh, you know, and I was even more pleased because you know I rode the winner for Frankie, like you know, and he's been put me over here since day one. And uh, when I picked that ride in the final leg, and I thought that was my best chance, and that has come out and proved that was my best chance. And uh, I had all the chances, but with the gate we had and couldn't play any different than the way it went, you know. But uh, no, it was just delight and. It's my second time one, and I finished place for the time. And uh, now it's a different atmosphere. And uh, in the last race, in the last leg, and I just felt the crowd start shouting. And then I looked up and said, "This is a long half for long out here." But uh, thank God he got his head down, and you know he gave me everything. They carried you home. I seem to remember. Was it 2018? You won this competition. Absolutely, yes. You yes. went on from Happy Valley on Wednesday night. Yes. The Shouting on Sunday, and I think yeah. you won. Uh, the biggest race in Hong Kong, the Longines Hong Kong Cup on Glorious Forever. Can we expect another similar performance this weekend? Well, and I hope so, and uh, I will try my very hard and, uh, you know, I will try my best of them. And uh, it will be nice to do it, but uh, it's not impossible. But <laughs> we just have to try hard, you know, and uh, I'm just delighted with the rides I got and for the weekend. And with a bit of luck, we could finish place or win the race, you never know. 40 step 6, Waikuku, they are two of your big rides. Yes, and uh, Money Catch, I won the latest course, and uh, another one for Frankie Love, so we're there, so let's see. You know all about Hong Kong now, but you seem, at this stage, super comfortable with your with your role in Hong Kong and the opportunities that are ahead. Absolutely, yeah, obviously, you know, and over here, the top ones dominate, and, and uh, as much as I have been here, I still is a young kid on the block, you know, I have to bide my time and I hope to get my time right in here, you know. So that's the, you are one of the top ones, do not undersell yourself. Tom, take us to a place where most of us can't go, into the jockey's room, before the final leg. Was everyone aware that all the balls were still in the air? Yeah, I think um, everyone... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we shared the trophy, we shared the microphone. Of course. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, like I think everyone, everyone was fully aware that um, you know there was uh, uh, it was a pretty open race going into the last, and um, there was a few that thought they had chances. So uh, obviously the the international jockeys have been um, in a different waiting room, so I don't know what the atmosphere was like downstairs. But um, yeah, everyone was fully aware that the race was still on. It's something completely different, and the night was completed when your better half, Holly Dodd, snags the final race. So it's a it's a great uh, week for the family so far. Yeah, we we. we, we both been extremely fortunate to have been invited back to Hong Kong for, for the last three years, and um, you know to get opportunities like this together is, um, you know, it, 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 it's really special to be honest. And um, for her to have a winner, uh, albeit not sadly not on the IJC leg, uh, to to join win it, but um, it's uh, you know it's 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 still coming to the biggest stage. And a couple more quick ones for you, Tom, if possible. Are you 24? 24. 24 years of age. <laughs> This is a sensational, <laughs> meteoric rise. It, you must pinch yourself sometimes and say, is this really happening? Yeah, I, uh, to be honest, like we're, we're, we're both probably very guilty of um, just kind of accepting what's going on and, and, and just getting on with it and you're on to the next winner, on to the next winner, on to the next place, on to the next winner. And, and, and um, going to Japan this year, We've, we've probably had a bit more time to, to sit back and look at what's going on and actually flying over here. It was probably the first time we've had the conversation that, like, you know, what's actually going on. You know, it's surreal. We, we, were, we were flying from Japan to Hong Kong to compete on the world's biggest stage together on a private jet bombed by the 
Hong Kong Jockey Club because of the COVID restrictions. It's it's honestly pretty mind blowing when you actually sit down and think about it. I need to ask you about that. Tell me, these are challenging times, and more challenging times to come. Things are getting better. Tell me about the welcome you've had from the Hong Kong Jockey Club and and the steps that have been taken to make sure everything goes smoothly. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think. Um, you know, it goes without saying that the Hong Kong Jockey Club has done an in incredible work getting the IJC on the last three years through COVID and, and you know, we've been really fortunate recipients of, of all that hard work and the fact that we've been able to come out here and, um, you know, this year there was some complications um, and, you know, the, the, the hard work and everything has, um, you know, come come to the fore and, and everything's been sorted out so well. and. Um, you know, we've had an amazing night like this again, and um, just all, all, all credit to, to the Jockey Club, to be honest, because um, how they've managed to keep this going the last few years is, is amazing. My well, last question for you before I come back to Syl. Um, you have all the time in the world, but do you see a, a time in the future when you will spend an extended spell in Hong Kong? Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's something that's obviously um, in, our, in my mind, in our minds, um, you know, Hong Kong's got some of the best races in the world, and. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's an incredibly competitive stage, and I think it's something that um, brings brings a riding on leaps and bounds for coming. So, um, you know, this year it's Japan, next year, who knows? So, Lester, if you can take Tom's bike. <laughs> a few final questions. Let's get down to business. That's a big trophy, and it's six months each. I saw the rock, paper, scissors game. Who gets the first six months? <laughs> well, I think you have to stay in Hong Kong, do it. So. <laughs> back and next spend his some time here and he can clean up, up. <laughs> sometimes things just go perfectly perfect tonight family here arrived a few days ago i overheard a little conversation that your wife vicky has a has a maybe a, maybe the kids have a plan for uh, for your share of the winner's check i think he's gone already to be honest and uh, <laughs> perhaps she just bought another pony you know? <laughs> That's what they do at home. Sometimes I go racing and come back and say, oh, come, come here, I want to show something. And say, wow, come on. And go to the backyard, there's a pony that eating grass. And, so, and now I'm just thrilled. My family, my whole family here, and this time Victoria's here to, you know, and my kids. And uh, now it's just, I mean, things gone very smooth, and I just hope them get better. And, you know, thanks to the Hong Kong Jockey Club has invited me here and went through an amazing job and the CEO and everybody worked so hard for, for this night and the show going on to to the next meeting, you know. You've won big races all over the world, Hong Kong, Europe, Dubai World Cup. In terms of pure enjoyment, fun, where does a night like this sit? Definitely in the top two. Really? Uh, yes. Uh, no, this is a fun night and and very tension as well because you go out there, you want to prove yourself, and sometimes you're not on the best horse. But uh, the races in Hong Kong are so competitive, and the handicap is so tight, you know. And uh, it's just by the look, like you know. And uh, to ride a win in, in a night like this, I can see it's just incredible. And uh, now I'm just so proud of myself and um, everybody else behind me, and everybody in Hong Kong, all my friends and. I think all was cheering for me to have a winner tonight. Fantastic. Sylvester, well done. Tom, safe travels back to Japan. Sylvester, safe travels on Sunday in those big races. Ladies and gentlemen, the joint winners of the Longines International Jockey Championship. Tom Mokong and Sylvester Mokong. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.